have already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person you're dealing with. We'll see what's coming up. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Aquarius, recent past energy between you and your person. Death card, and it's with this Ace of Swords. Now, the Death card, keep in mind, it does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. In fact, it's considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death because we're all creatures with free will and such things. They're not written in stone. The death card, it simply indicates transformation, change. Definitely a time of deep transformation, likely to be both internally and externally in your life. Could be that some situations or things and people that you've counted on or have gotten used to may no longer be available to you in quite the same way as they once were now this Transition can be very difficult for some people. Even though the change is nearly always needed. Now, it's with this Ace of Swords, which can indicate a new beginning of some sort. Could be on several levels, several fronts. Sometimes this new beginning, it gets started by a separation of some kind. Maybe from a relationship, or from a job, or maybe a situation. Just know that as anxiety producing, as such a new beginning, can sometimes be, underneath it all, is actually really good, beneficial energy that's getting you to where you want to go, where you need to be. So, when I'm picking up Aquarius, for this recent past energy between you and the person you're dealing with. The death card clarified by this Ace of Swords. So for some of you, what I'm getting, what I'm picking up on is that some of you separated from your person. And you realize, wow, there's so much more out there. Yeah, looking at the Ace of Swords, there was a separation. Or someone walked away, and it felt like a separation, or you, it felt like your person was gone. And you start to realize that there's a whole, there's a whole world out there that you're really ready to explore, or that you could be exploring. So this separation, it woke you up. And it looks like it actually, it, it, um, it eventually led to, uh, it led to this death card. It led to you coming to a conclusion that this needs to be over. So you ended the connection with your person. Yeah, so it was over for a lot of you. But like I said, a lot of you went through separation first. And then you realize there's so much more out there. Some of you realize that life was better without this person. So you realize that this is time for it to be over. You came to a conclusion with the death card. So let's move on over. Now let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Seven of Cups. And it's with the Nine of Pentacles. Now the Seven of Cups is a card about choices. It can indicate confusion. It can point to disorganization, having too much going on. There's a need to narrow your focus. You could be trying to do too much and doing most of it not really well. So try to choose just a few of the things that are on your plate and work through them one by one carefully. You could feel you could feel overwhelmed when you get the seven of cups. 
But remember, you can control, at least in some areas, how much you're trying to take on. Now, it's with the Nine of Pentacles, which is actually one of the most uplifting, encouraging cards in the deck. This can actually mean that your financial worries are over for a while. And that things will be going better than you thought ever possible. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles is beautiful. Everyone wants the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, you got the Ten of Pentacles here. I was just going to say, everyone wants the Ten of Pentacles in a reading. But you got the Nine for what's coming up. I was going to say, you're just short of one Pentacle. But as I looked over, you got the Ten of Pentacles in the outcome. So, anyways, the Nine of Pentacles is really good. Good energy. So enjoy it. Share your wealth. Share your happiness with others. Okay, so like I said, um, you separated from someone. You realized life was better without them. So you came to a conclusion. And you ended this connection with your person. Or the two of you could have decided it's just time for it to be over. Um, but coming up with the Seven of Cups, you could you could be thinking you should have kept your options open all along because you're starting to s feel that there's so many new beginnings out there for you. And like I said, with the Nine of Pentacles, um, things could start to just be going really, really well for you. Yeah. You could start to feel like you're finally starting to live your best life. Or you could be realizing that this is what you want. You're ready to live your best life. And, you sh and you're keeping your options open this time. Yeah. So that's what's coming up. So we move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenges are. The Nine of Cups and it's with the Knight of Wands. Now, the Nine of Cups is one of the most uplifting, pleasant cards to receive in a reading. It's known as the Wish card. It can mean that what you're hoping for, what you're dreaming about, it's most likely to be yours in a short period of time. The appearance of this card is about happiness, good things to come. It also can mean that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. And if you're asking a yes or no type of question, well, this is the most powerful indicator of yes. Yeah. Now, so with the Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands, it's a great time for travel if you can get away. It's about feeling charged up, full of energy, ready to get things done. Your self-confidence is increasing, which helps to, to it, it will help to reach towards your goals. The Knight's there. Often message bears. And the messages are likely to be positive. Could be related to work or career, family, or romance. And any projects that you have, well, they're likely to be more successful than you would have expected or predicted. Yeah, so the challenge, Nine of Cups, clarified by this Nine of Wands. Yeah, for some of you, you've got someone coming towards you. This could be someone that you know, maybe someone new, or I don't know who this is, <laughs> this Knight of Wands. Uh, somebody's coming towards you, okay? The Knight of Wands occurred below the word challenge. This person, they see you as a wish come true. Yeah, or you could be feeling this way about them. You could see them as, as your wish come true. Or they could feel you're their wish come true. But here they come. Yeah, I don't know who this person is, the Knight of Wands. I want to say for some of you, it's this same person who you separated from, but no. I don't think it's, I don't think it's them because the death card is there. It looks like you came to a conclusion and 
that that needed to end. But, like I said, coming up, you're keeping your options open. And you realize that's what you should have been doing all along. You're ready to live your best life, so you got, you're probably going to have some people knocking at your door. And this person feels you're their wish come true. That's what you get with the Nine of Cups. Yeah, this person will have very strong desire for you. And they'll feel very blessed and satisfied to have you. Or you could be feeling this way about them. Yeah, so this is great. So let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. We have the Two of Cups. And there's that Ten of Pentacles I didn't realize was there. I shuffle, I shuffle the deck, and then I place, I, I meditate on the, the um, energy, and then I place the cards down blindfoldedly, without looking at what's in my hand. So I didn't, I didn't know you got the nine. You got some good cards here, nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups, and the Two of Cups. Yeah. Aquarius, um, some of you are going to be having a good January. If you're not feeling it now, it's going to go maybe until the end of January. The time is fluid when you get these readings, so don't get fixed on the dates. Yeah. So this is great. Your outcome, Two of Cups, click, and it's with the Ten of Pentacles. Two of Cups, it refers to romantic partnership, but that's not its only connotation. You can speak of balance, friendship, joy, sharing. This card, it says that things are likely to be going well. You should be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. That's with the Ten of Pentacles. Like I said, everyone wants the Ten of Pentacles in a reading, and it's yours, Aquarius. It says that you're going to have a great deal to be thankful for, your relationships of all kinds, finance, too. All these things will be going well, so you might need to consider how you got to such a happy situation. Make the best of it. Be sure to share what you have, even if it's only a kind word spoken to someone you need. Because we get back what we give out. So, like I said, you got someone coming towards you. Who is this Knight of Wands? Yeah. This person is going to be very determined about you. Because I'm looking at the Two of Cups. They feel like you're their ideal partner. It's going to feel like a harmony. A union, a deep connection, a partnership, a very romantic love that could actually lead to marriage. It could lead to proposal. Yeah, and that's what it's on the Ten of Pentacles. I'm loving it. Wow, the Ten is with the Ten of Pentacles. That means that the two of you, you're gonna have it all. You could have, you could have it all. Ten of Pentacles is about having it all. And just to tell you a little bit more about the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles can mean a lot of money. Because when you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, that means money, cash, coins, finance, income. So it can mean a lot of money. You won't, you won't be sweating anything. Like I said, your pets will be doing well. Your siblings or your brothers will be doing well just happy everything everything is wonderful and like I said um, the two of cups it, it's showing that um, you could be with someone or meeting someone or maybe it's this knight of wands I don't know I don't know about this knight of wands though I'm, I'm getting that it could be someone else. Or if it isn't, because let me tell you why I say that. Because a Knight of Wands is a in and out type of energy. So if it is a Knight of Wands, this person would have an, an in and out type of energy. Or this is how they used to be. 
But when they meet you, everything changes. You're the you're where the buck stops. They find it. No need to be. There's no need to be in and out. And I say this because it's with the Nine of Cups. You heard their wish come true. So this person could could be the type. Could have been the type. Whereas they were. They used to be a player until they met you. They've. 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 